Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Ooze back again once again with the final chapter to Burn the Witch. Now, I know there might have been some of you guys that was doubting me and wondering like, oh no, there's definitely gonna be more than four chapters. Well, hate to break it to you, I was right on this one. I would not say it otherwise um, if I, I wasn't really sure, but it was literally put out there from the very beginning of when this series was announced. And I originally thought it was supposed to be three chapters, but luckily it was four. And we're gonna be seeing how this story unfolds and wraps up nicely. And I do, we, we are gonna be starting things off with a full color page of the, uh, I forget what the, the equivalent of like the captains from like Soul Society would be, but these are like the, the, the wizards and the witches of like the, the, the best of the best, right? So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so as you guys can see, just a little bit, a little glimpse of the, uh, the color page this dude right here he's like he's he's my favorite character i don't remember seeing this waifu but i mean it's been pretty pretty short yo shout outs to this this guy is giving me urahara vibes damn i miss urahara all right here we go let's get into it okay huh what me you're after me why i don't get what you're talking about at all this is balgo uh, what? You haven't told him anything? Well, guess the smallest mercy you can give a dead man walking is not telling him exactly when he's gonna bite the dust. Whoa, those are some scary words to go with that scary face. <laughs> Minnie, let's split up. I'll shoot a spark off on the count of three, okay? Would you rather take Balgo or Macy? You're seriously got, you seriously got to ask? Haven't you got a clue what you two are jabbering about? But that guy's got a target on his back everywhere in reverse London. Just where are you planning to go? That's a good question. Um, Bruno? Oh, that's what his name was, Bruno, that's right. I hear Ellie's voice getting closer. Uh-oh. Ooh, it's that dragon, Ellie. Sorry, haven't got any use for you anymore. <gasps> Oh, it disappeared. I thought he, I thought he like sna uh, zapped it or something. Was that stealth scale? Actually, when I first saw it, I thought it had come out from the darkness, but that's not what happened. It had been erasing itself. You gotta be screwing with me. You telling me you use stealth scale? That ain't a trick any dragon can use. Then what kind of dragon is this thing? Ooh. Yo, this is crazy. <gasps> Whoa, that is huge, yo. This, these, these look like Yu-Gi-Oh monsters, low, no, low key. Oh my God, it's like a ginormous freaking thing. They didn't have these in Bleach, dude. This, this freaking, this kind of, yeah, like the hollows, they ain't got nothing on these dragons. <laughs> What is that? It completely changed shape and size. What's going on? It's likely that it molted in the moonlight. What's up with that? Then it's almost like it's not almost. It is. Stealth scale, molting in the moonlight. And those six talons? Without a doubt, that thing's one of the Markins. The Marchins? The Markins? What's a Markin? I hope I'm pronouncing it right. We're gonna call it Markin. Uh, for the time being. They're, they're rumored to have existed even before the formation of Reverse London. Seven dragons likened to and named for fairy tales. Snow White, Red Dress, Golden Axe, Bubbles, Sugar House, Band of Animals. And said to only molt into a full-fledged dragon in the moonlight. Cinderella. That's fire. That's actually OD. Tite Kubo, damn, this is this is pretty dope. It's only it sucks that there's only four chapters. Cinderella, the origin of the name comes from its distinctive biology, as it only matures nocturnally, as well as from star ash, the dust that it scatters, that it scatters when agitated. Holy crap! Anything that comes in contact with that dust, whole oh, is engulfed in light, according to my reference book. Why'd they dress it up like that? Those are just bombs. Yeah. Like, they oh my God. Damn. That's crazy. That's what happens when you don't take Cinderella to the ball. Ball go parks. Yikes. 
We're taking a rain check on your elimination. Markins are the pro the progenators of dark dragons. They're designed they're designated wicked dragons and are permanently authorized for elimination. Humanity's hypothetical enemy. Never thought I'd see one with my own eyes. Now that's electrifying. Oh, where'd he get the mask from? Dude, shout outs. Shout outs. This, this, this is looking like the holification for us, bro. That's fire. Wait, you aren't going to fight that thing? Don't be stupid. I ain't fighting it. I'm killing it. Oh, I like Bruno. Bruno's OD. Couldn't ask for a better opponent to gain some recognition. Better to, better not get in my way, you little snots. Think you can manage with just three, Rickenbacker? Wow, attaboy. Yeah, my man got Charizard. He's seriously heading over. Niha, let's go with a frontal attack. We'll request uh, reinforcements from HQ. I prefer we not. What? You're talking nonsense. It's not as though this has a nullified Balgo's punitive dragon designation. If we request if we request reinforcements, they will kill Balgo. I I guess they could, but even HQ wouldn't do that in an emergency. Oh, there goes the glitter. They yeah, they gotta start moving. What the heck is this? Is Star Ash alive or something? I haven't got an inkling. What did your book say? A Markin is simply a dragon with a name. My book only contains information about the legends. Damn, so they don't even know what their full cap capabilities are. Damn, this is crazy. Okay, so it looks like he... Oh, what's that? It looks like some graffiti. Oh, yo! Release code 0575. Unlock. Get over here. Yo, what is this? Dude, Burn the Witch is OD. He just summoned like this big ass monkey thing. And he did it with, with, with graffiti, son, in the air. That's badass. Like, dude. They, I hope this does well enough that people want more of it. Or they, or like imagine if, if like they, they do continue Bleach, but they like, you know what I'm saying? Like this was this is a great introduction to the world. Like, oh my god, that's right. Okay, turn tear into that thing. Oh, that that John just blew up. Even Hunger Shadow couldn't draw a drop of blood, huh? Alright, and they're like trailing behind the, behind them. Yo, you twerps finally decided to show up. Where'd you leave those two? Somewhere safe? Where's safe? That's a good one. We left them somewhere. Almost anywhere else is safer than here. You ain't, you ain't wrong there. Cover me. Oh, they're about to team up. Let's go. Fire. We break. We we break the horn of the crown artery on its head, and Cinderella's a goner. Are you certain that isn't simply a legend? We're fighting a fairy tale here. What else are we supposed to rely on, huh? <laughs> that's fair. That's, that's facts. If you provide backup to help me beat that thing, it'll pump up your value. I'll even accept your transfer to the inks. Ooh, not really interested. I don't recall asking for that. You're really getting on my bloody nerves. You know, I the more I read this, I realize, like I said in the last chapter, I I know if this ever gets a dub, they are gonna have like English accents. And I think that's OD. I think that would actually be OD. Like that'd be godlike, right? I could just hear it, but I'm not trying to sound like a complete freaking wanker over here, you know, trying to do the accent. So it's bad enough. I already, I'm like narrating this as it, but okay, whatever. Let's keep going. High up in the air, starry path, night's horizon, white alva in formation, leaves wreathe, light right to skyward sight, and there terminates spell number 68, supernal jail. Oh, su supernal jail? What the hell? Damn, that looked like some Swords of Revealing Light. Good going, twerps. Release code to 2028. Unlock. Get over here. Greedy curtain. Oh, oh, yo, that's fire. Dude, look at that shit. Oh my god. I know this thing won't kill you, but as soon as you stick your head out, your time's up, Cinderella. And that John blew up, of course. 
Ooh, it, it, uh, bloody hell. Thing's still alive. Guess your own blast can't kill you, monster. That does seem to be the case. What's up with that? That's not fair. You, you, you okay, Noel? I'm doing just freaking dandy. <laughs> Flap, what's it about? To, oh, is it about to take off? What's going on? Where's that thing headed? Oh, that's going somewhere. It's heading our way. Shields up. Why us? Get mad at him, not us. Wait, Ellie might be coming to see me. There has to be some other way than killing. Are you seriously still going on about that? Nini, concentrate. Uh-oh. Oh, snap, Nina. Wait, stop, Ellie. Don't you recognize me? Ellie? They started shivering. Oh, they, they freaking blew into it. I already told you, that isn't gonna work. No matter how much you love them, you just can't reach someone you can't get through to. How long are you going to keep insisting that, dra that the dragon will give you strength or that it'll take you somewhere special? Can you stop talking like this is a fairy tale? Nina... Aren't fairy tales full of it? What's so great about magic if it fades in the middle of things? You broke a promise, so... Oh well. Time's up, so you're out of luck. What's up with that? Sounds stupid. You and everybody else have no idea why the spells wear off. But the reason it fades partway through is because the power was never yours. Ooh. Macy... We're the ones who cast the magic, aren't we? It's coming, Ninny. Okay, then. Let's do this thing. Noel, anything I can do? Uh, there really isn't. Why don't you clutch the pipe we gave you and go tremble in a corner? <laughs> you sure didn't mince words. Uh, if you get it, then get back. Basically, like, uh, run and tuck it in. That's basically what she said. If uh, Make sure Osushi doesn't get hurt. I got it. Let's just quietly wait together. Oh, su oh sushi. Poor Balgo. Huh? Where'd he get that sword from? Oh, what's this? I should be the one asking that. Wait, seriously? What's up with that sword? Is it coming out of the pipe we gave you? How is that logical? Cinderella stopped. <gasps> Whoa! It got shot right in the head. Oh, someone sniped it. Good grief. Did I do that? Look at this freaking guy. You see who it is? It was that dude from earlier. What? Why aren't we getting any compensation? It's not nothing. Come on, take a closer look. Five points and five pounds is as good as nothing. There's no way I can accept this after we slayed a legendary dragon. I'd say it's impressive you've... Oh, you're not in the negative, considering they docked you for all that property damage. Besides, it says here that Director Bangknife is the one who delivered the finisher. What? How do you figure that? He didn't kill it either. Mm -hmm. And by either, you mean it wasn't you? Damn. So this guy is like the hidden boss. He's out here freaking literally sniping from miles away. Dude, this guy is like the Udahada of this John. All right. Well, he's probably he was probably like a former a former wizard or something. If he if he has the power to slay like some mythical freaking fairy tale ass dragon like that, he was definitely like some kind of former something that was OD. Okay. Well, that's how the cookie crumbles. Patchworks is collecting and preserving Cinderella's corpse. Also, come on, get in here. Macy, what the hell? You're not gonna tell us to conserve, conserve her at our houses too, are you? Oh, sure are sharp, aren't you? That's right, we determined she's a light case of dragon clad, so you'll be conserving her at home. Sounds like a recipe for fun. I didn't ask for your opinion. This seems like it'll be fun, doesn't it, Nina? Do you actually understand your situation? Don't agree with the chief. Um, chief? What will happen to Balgo? Oh, right, right. This is Balgo's, Balgo Parks' punitive dragon release application. Oh, I never expected this to come from you. Ooh, from, you know, from Bruno. If I recall correctly, the investigation determined that Balgo Parks came into contact with Macy Baljur two months ago. If that served as the trigger for Cinderella's appearance, 
that is enough reason to keep him alive. That is, if he is our trump card for eliminating the Markins. Dude, they're just setting this up for you to want more, and that's perfect. That is actually, that is the, this is the right way to do it. Okay, let's see what happens next. All right, so we're going to like a lock and key, Junior. You scoundrel. I'm relieved to find I did not overestimate the son of a hero. Oi, get this crack in the glass patched up. Yes, right away, Director Squire. Oh, welcome back, Noel. The chief just came by to take my pipe and mantle. Looks like I don't get to keep him all well. Did she just... Is she hugging him? Uh, what is it, Noel? Uh, did something bad happen? No. So, something good then? Yes. Ha ha ha. Good for you, Noel. Aw, oh, damn it! Aw, oh, that's it! Alright, that's enough. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is the uh, conclusion to the Burn the Witch miniseries. And I do know, I'm pretty sure I, I re uh, like vaguely saw, I got like a notification for it. That's why I'm like trying to figure out how I want to word it. But I didn't click on the notification because I was busy at the time. But I'm pretty sure there already is um, confirmation that Burn the Witch is actually going to have a manga release. That's going to include, um, I'm, I'm assuming, some of the color pages that we saw on these online versions of the chapters. Um, and honestly, I was very, I was very uh, impressed or I was, I, I was pretty in, entertained throughout this story. And I really like how it opened itself up to like introducing like how OD the Markin dragons are and the fact that they're keeping Balgo alive and they're probably potentially going to use him to essentially lure out the the rest of the markets because if there are seven of them and they already got one of them that means that there's six out there somewhere somehow and he's the key to i guess you know just bringing them about and then it would be up to them to slay them detain them whatever and as you can see they're preserving its body so i don't know if there's any kind of like magic or some kind of like resuscitation the, like tool or like one of those like rejuvenation chambers that they could keep the thing like kind of alive i mean they definitely killed it like that john got shot straight in the head through that john you saw it um but yeah all in all like um i definitely enjoyed burn the witch a little bit more than i expected to especially with this chapter chapter four was probably one of the best chapters out of the four that have been available. I honestly don't really remember what happened in the one shot, but that's literally all of the Burn the Witch content thus far. And I'm also pretty sure that very soon we will be seeing the um, the anime movie of Burn the Witch. So I'm not sure if it's gonna directly adapt what's happened in this. If this four series, four chapter series was um, something to set up maybe something that happened after if we get a new content for burn the witch I mean that would actually be kind of interesting. So it's not just like a direct Adaptation of what we saw here. I, I think it's actually really cool It would be really cool if they decided to use the movie to continue the story even more so so that way fans of burn the witch fans that were interested in burn the witch and obviously the reason why all of us are here is because we're more than likely um, big Bleach fans or fans of Bleach altogether, and that's what got us to wanting to check out Tite Kubo's alternate work that is taking place within um, the you know the reach of, or the the same universe as Soul Society. And the other thing, speaking of Soul Society, that I want to say, the last thing I want to say is that unfortunately we didn't get the cameo reference appearance of any of the characters that are actually from bleach in this mini series which that's okay because uh i'm not sure if 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 tite kubo would have done it i don't know if it would have just been just to get like you know a pop-off type of reaction or if it even would have fit right um but at the end of the day i actually now that i'm thinking about it and how they set up their own side like you know in reverse london i think that if they was to get any of the bleach characters involved it might have kind of um kind of undersold the entirety of you know this side of you know soul society if you will like in everything that's going on in reverse london because imagine if 
all that happened they set up the Markin dragon and then they just had some like one of the one of the captains from bleach show up one shot at the thing and then they dipped i, I feel like it just it would it would kind of give readers and fans the impression that their own people that are a part of this area couldn't handle it which then like undermines them and really doesn't make them out to be like these big threats or like these big you know whatever so you know like they're, they're like these big strong characters that's kind of how it would it, it would be in my opinion but i'm kind of glad it didn't work out that way so that way they had their own you know like their little part of the universe and their own all these characters to you know build up and to really showcase like hey like this they, you know they're pretty much the real deal as well um but it would be cool to see some kind of crossover later down the the, the road and we'll We'll, we'll, I guess, have to see exactly what happens with the return of Bleach next year. Um, we know that the anime is going to continue, but not sure if there's going to be anything else in addition. Whether the story continues in the manga or... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see um, from that point on. So that's going to be it out of me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the Burn the Witch series. If you have not um, read the chapters yourselves, I highly recommend you doing so. You can literally go to shonenjump.com slash viz to uh or actually i think it's viz.com slash shonen jump to uh check out a, you know a manga like this and especially read these um they're i'm pretty sure they're gonna be free for a limited time um and if you're like a shonen jump subscriber and this is like by no means a plug even though they are friends with me but this isn't a sponsored video by any means i'm just trying to share with you guys good manga that i enjoy myself um so yeah let me know what you guys thought about this what did what were your impressions was it lacking? Did you expect it to end a different way? Um, and what would you change if you could change anything at all? It looks like um, Noel might have some kind of a slight interest in Balgo, which is nice. And uh, yeah, it's nice that they ended it on a nice note. She 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 uh, showed up and embraced him, which is really which is really cool. So, and that's the end. So uh comment below like share subscribe me up on twitter all that good stuff supporting links are going to be in the description as always um please take care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked glitter right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see y'all next time